Hello, and this is part two of how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Okay, so I mix this up. Okay, now, quickly, get the face. So we've got the face here. All lined up. As you can see, red, sorry, green, red, blue, and orange. Now, since we've done black to start, the opposite colour is yellow. If we started with blue, opposite is green. If we started with red, opposite is orange. Okay? So, we look on the top. We, we look. So, so, we're holding it like this, right? And the black is done. And then, we turn it over. We turn it over like this and like this. So that the black one is on the bottom. Now, we look at the top. The, the opposite one to the black. And what's on there? We can see that there's two here. And there is two here. Now, there's, there's a more advanced way. And there's like a more beginner's way. I'll teach you the more beginner's way. And I might do a more advanced tutorial later. So, if, if you can solve the 3x3, three three, you should know the algorithm. Where um, some people call it. Oh yeah. Okay, it's the one where you go R U R inverted U R U two R inverted, and then it gets you um that. Now, for this one where there's two here and two here, you hold it so the two on the top face are at the back, are facing outwards from you, and the two that are like. So there's black here and there's two yellow ones here. You hold these two yellow ones facing you. And then you do the R. If you don't know this algorithm, it's R, U, R inverted, U, R, U2, R inverted. Okay, so, so, so now you should know that case. So there's two there and two there. Now there's another case. Where there is, this is pretty much the only different algorithm you want to learn. There's, the, there's one where there's one here. And there's one facing outwards and there's just like those two there. You don't really need to worry about them too much. Um, so this, so you may think, um, so on the 3x3, three three, it looks, it's sort of like one, two, three, four, and it's got one there and one there, so it sort of looks like a fish. And if there's one there, so if, if there's if there's a one there, and there's a yellow one facing you, and that, that goes into the bottom left, and you do this. R, U, R inverted, U, R, U, 2, R inverted. And that will get you the whole face. So, so that's another case that you've just learned, where there's one there, there's one that goes into the bottom left, and there's one that faces that you make facing you, that is would be in the bottom right if it was up there, but it's it's just like the black and then the yellow there, and that's the top one. So that goes to the bottom left, and you do R U I inverted U R U two R inverted. Sorry. Um. Uh, Another case that I started showing you before is where there's one there, but that one's on that side instead of there. So now you make this, you rotate the top face until it's in the top right, and you sort of do the backwards of it. It's quite good to learn backwards if you're showing someone something anyway. And the backwards of it is R, U2. R inverted U, R, U, R. And that will get you the whole yellow face. Right? Now, 
Here's another case where there's nothing on the top, but there's two at the back, and one there, and one there. Now for this, you hold the two at the back, so those two are there, at the back, and you hold these two out on the sides. And then you do there, 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 there. Now you might think this isn't giving me the whole yellow face. But once you have this, the, the one that goes in the bottom left, and there, that will get you the whole yellow face. And also, so will the other one. Okay, so here's another case, sort of like the other one where there's two at the back and two there. So like two at the back and two there. Except this time, there's two there and there's two there. And this time you hold it so that the two there and the two there are on both sides. And then you do the R, U, R, V, U, R, U, T, R, V. And then you have the, we'll call it the fish because it looks like a fish. Well, it doesn't fit, I think. And then you have the fish with that one facing you. So you do this. The, this doesn't if this doesn't normally solve it. There is one more step. Okay. So what, once you've once you've got the whole fit, there, there's I think there's a few more cases I haven't shown you. So I will show you that one. Um, right. um, we showed you this one. Have we showed you that one? Where? Oh yeah. And if there's two in the front, you do the same. So that's on facing you. You've done that one. There's one where there's two like this. So like. Uh, um, I sometimes call it the double headed fish. I'll, I'll just get it. There we have it. Okay, so there's two there, right? And you want to Pretty much, if you're not going for super fast, you can you can do it however you want. But I suggest doing it so one of the spaces is in the bottom right, so that one or that one. But no, actually, this will help you for a more advanced one, and it might get and it will probably get you to the fish. So you hold this one in the bottom right, and so one of these is facing you, right? So. So this one goes in the bottom right, and this one is facing out to you. And then you just do this. And then we've got the, the backwards fish, as some people call it. Like me. We've got the backwards fish, because it's not facing you, it's facing there. So top, top right. So hopefully you know how to do that now. I'm pretty sure that was all of them. If I missed out one and you've you've found one that I missed out, just leave it in the comments. So watch part three to find out how to do the um well PLL sort of.